Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm Lynn with Plasma Energy Solution and today is February 25th, 2021. So today I want to talk to you about several things and first of all, I'd like to do a review of uh, what Dr. Paul had to say about plasma energy. And for those of you who would like lots more information, our website is plasmaenergysolution.com and there's a ton of blogs, frequently asked questions, testimonials, articles, videos. So there's plenty there for you to find answers to questions and more information you might want to know about. So here's how Dr. Paul explained plasma energy. Plasma energy is the energy of the universe. It's what balances the plants and keeps them in their position so they do not collide the planets, I'm sorry, not the plants, <laughs> so they don't collide with each other. Um, now I have a visual of that in the garden, huh? The solar system is in balance with itself with all of the planets. The solar system then is in turn with balance with all other solar systems, which are in turn with balance with the universe. And that is in turn with balance with other universes. This goes on and on. This is the energy of the universe. Plasmatic gravitational fields are what we see in the aura around people, plants, and pets. This field can be influenced by the environment and also by the emotion of the animal, plant, or person. We are developing plasmatic fields into the products that we call GANs, which is gas in the atomic nano solid state. We use this in combination to balance and influence the plasmatic fields of the plants, animals, or people. Plasma energy is new to doctors and veterinarians and actually they know nothing about it because there are no medical books that use this knowledge. Plasma energy is currently defined by a nuclear physicist, engineer, and researcher as the water of the fields of the universe. Accessing these fields means tapping into that water, quote unquote. Plasma energy fields emanate like ripples in water and they have wind-like waves that ebb and flow. And just as an aside, I'll mention that I've recently done a couple of videos on the memory of water because water has memory and then the GANS, which is the gas in the atomic nanosolid state, has memory. So with a combination of those en energies, those memories, you are in turn able to charge or change your water that you're going to be using with that memory. Um, so I'll continue on. Plasma energy has potential difference in magnets magnetic gravitational strength when descending from a higher level to a lower field. It creates the same release of energy that is seen in hydroelectric dams. It has the same power as the nuclear essence. It has everything which we have tapped into according to this place in time and our current intelligence. And it has given us the ability to use it constructively. It goes by several different names such as zero-point energy, torsion fields, magnetic and gravitational fields, and other descriptions. Plasma energy fields can be demonstrated with magnets. When these magnets are pulled together, that is the attraction of their plasmatic gravitational fields. When the magnets repel each other, they are sending magnetic energy. When they reach equilibrium, the repelling stops. This action of the magnetic gravitational plasma fields is apparent throughout the physical world. It's what balances the position of the planets and keeps them from colliding. The mo molecules and atoms of the bodies of pa plants, pets, and people act in accord with the planets by attracting and repelling each other, always seeking a balance of plasma energy. It is taught that the addition of non-toxic plasmatic fields to people, plants, or pets that are out of balance due to disease or injury puts the body in proper plasmatic environment so the body can restore health and reduce pain. The body only uses what is needed to restore and maintain balance. 
when interacting and when attraction and repulsion stop, balance is achieved and the body remains in natural homeostasis or balance. More than 90% of the bodies of people, plants, and pets are made of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen, and all of these have plasmatic fields. When addressing support for various illnesses, various elements are used to make the GANs, the gas in the atomic nanosolid state. These GANs, which have very plas powerful plasmatic fields, influence the imbalance caused by disease or injury in people, plants, and pets. In doing so, biological balance is returned, allowing healing to occur. To utilize plasma energy in health issues, it is necessary to break down the matter into a monoatomic state where all the chemical bonds of compounds and molecules are broken and atoms that would normally be connected to each other, atoms in a molecular compound, are now alone. And this process, as I've said in, and Dr. Paul said in many videos, can take anywhere from two to five months. So this just isn't an instant overnight type of thing. That's my aside. Atoms in the state send out a magnetic gravitational field trying to fulfill their electrical orbit that influences other atoms, molecules, compounds in attempts to complete themselves. It is this magnetic gravitational field of influence that we use to influence certain aspects of the human, animal, or plant body to bring about a change in conditions that is beneficial to that human, plant, or animal. This concept is applicable to many areas of our lives such as travel, agriculture, athletics, and support for health conditions such as cataracts, glaucoma, other eye issues, arthritis, wound healing, lung conditions, hormone conditions, and many, many more. This is magnetic gravitational energy that keeps the plants, animals, and the universe in balance. You can also demonstrate the in this energy by putting some metal filings on a sheet of paper. And you put a magnet underneath that sheet of paper. And as the magnet moves, the iron filings will move with the sheet of paper. You cannot see anything between the filings and the magnet, but there is a, excuse me, a field of energy, and it's the plasmatic field that moves that energy. So I hope this is useful to you because I know sometimes it's it's a little difficult to explain to people what is plasma energy. So perhaps this can be a little go-to thing for you for people that would just take the time to look at a video. Now also with the um, with the statement I've just made, you can find that on our home page under um, what Dr. Paul had to say about plasma energy. So I hope that's helpful to you today. And um, I'm going to read a couple things that were just a couple Q and A's I got today. And somebody asked, "Can I add peace to my vial? The peace energy vial to my?" container that holds the herpes relief vial. And my answer is yes, you can do that. The body's going to use whatever fields of energy it needs at any given time to come into balance. What is in peace? Now, whenever I send peace out to you, I always send the information sheet with uh, what is contained in peace and how to use it. The following instructions and information were included with all of the peace files that are sent out. The never-ending plasma energy piece has CO2, zinc, CH3, amino acids, and hemoglobin. Once you set up your jar of peace water with the unopened vial placed inside or attached to the outside of your jar, and if you've re received patches because you're out of the country, you just attach those to your jar, let it change overnight for the first time. Then it's ready to use. Make patches of it, carry it in your car, wallet, or purse. 
Be creative with the use. Place it around the perimeter of your property. You can do that in little jars or you can take a spray bottle. As you see, I've got different spray bottles here and you could spray it around the perimeter on fences, bushes, trees, rocks, whatever to set up the energy fields. Place your written intention on your peace path, patches. Be creative. A little peace goes a long ways. We do have some videos on, on peace, so if, if you'll look for it on our website, or if you go to our YouTube channel, you can find them there. There's two YouTube tube channels, but if you look under Plasma Energy Solution, you should be able to find it. Otherwise, one channel is Lynn Schmaltz, and the other channel is Schmaltz Patricia Lynn. And here was our intention that we send out with all our peace energy. All plasma energy that originated from Dr. Paul and Lynn's efforts joins every other bit of plasma energy that originated from their efforts wherever that plasma energy is in the world. On the land, in the water, of the rivers, the lakes, the oceans, in the air, and in the clouds above. All the plasma energy brings Paul and Lynn's intention everywhere on, above, around, and below the surface of planet Earth that all living beings are filled with love, peace, joy, freedom, prosperity, well-being, and abundance with the ethics and morality to support love, peace, joy, freedom, prosperity, well-being, and abundance of all living things on planet Earth, including the living being, our home, planet Earth. All of like intentions are invited to join this intention. And here's my last Q&A for the day. Um, how specifically can we protect our property from any wild storms, winds, floods, as is happening worldwide using plasma energy? And I did write a blog, which you can find on the website, which was November of 2017. And it has the title, How Was This Property in Dominica uh, Protected During Hurricane Maria? And that's a very interesting article. There's, there's pictures with it and a discussion of how that happened. And then the question is, I read and saw one picture uh, on Dominica in testimonials, but there was no specifics on how the plasma energy protected his property. Well, there actually was. There was a jar of plasma energy water that he had made for his parents and placed in their garden. And what happened when the hurricane struck is there was a 30-foot perimeter out from that jar of plasma energy in the garden that completely protected the house and the gardens. All the, the leaves were on the plant, the flowers were on the plants, the roof was on the house. Nothing was disturbed within that field. But outside that field of energy, everything, all the, all the plants were completely stripped and bare. So those winds were, were severe and about 90% of the island uh, suffered destruction. Um, did you and Dr. Paul learn how to make free energy from a Knowledge Seeker, work, um, seeker workshop site using a few of the plasma that allows us to run electrical units like heat slides, etc.? Dr. Paul worked with that for quite a while and did not enjoy success with any free energy type of thing. And I honestly think his... Um, his life purpose was more attuned to the wellness of people, plants, pets and plants. And he had spent his career as a veterinarian. He had learned about acupuncture. He'd used that on, on pets and, he'd, and horses very successfully. He had used it on family members. So, and he was very attuned in and always studying like rife energies and um, organ energy and that type of thing. So when he shifted his focus to how plasma energy could be used to benefit people, pets, and plants, um, he was really on a roll and it was really more attuned to who he was. 
Um, regarding pyramids to enhance the plasma energies, I kind of think that if you look behind me over this shoulder, you might see the tip, the top part of the Russian pyramid that Dr. Paul made. And he followed the instructions given on the internet by Charlie Zeese, and the website is onlypvcpyramids.com. Only pvcpyramids.com and pvc is for uh, the white pipe that pvc pipe that you see that this is constructed with and then it had some shungite aspects to it uh, and then what what dr paul had to do was to take those instructions charlie had and make a pyramid of the size that he wanted to use and what he used that for was we always put new formulas that we make inside that pyramid for additional balancing. And whenever I send out orders, they always sit for a bit of time in the um, pyramid that Dr. Paul had constructed. So it was, um, it was from Russian research because this is why they're called the Russian pyramids. And they use enormous... Um, maybe 70 foot tall ones to go over the buildings where they house the seeds that they are going to use for the annual plantings. So it was to bring balance to those seeds. Um, I remember Dr. Paul said to build pyramids around your garden. He mentioned putting a container of some type of plasma energy water at the top of the pyramid. And again you can put, depending on the shape of your garden, you can put the uh, jars of your choice of plasma water that you have and you could put it on four corners of the garden. In the center of the garden you're going to want to make a stand and have a jar of your same plasma water on top of that stand and then that's going to build that same Russian pyramid type of uh, energy field. So you can look at the uh, website I gave you only pvcpyramids.com as far as figuring out the dimensions you might want to use for your particular garden. So those were a couple of the Q&As and while we're talking about energy fields I'll remind you that we do have the um, new tech frequency relief which is designed to help you with all the energy fields, the, the electronic magnetic the soup that we're living in right now and I'll remind you that we have the large um, shungite silver gans and magnet for your breaker boxes we have the smaller ones that can go on your phones your computers your TVs and then we also have the ones we have plain ones that you can wear as a pendant uh, this is also one made with fluorite this is one made with lapis, and this is made one made with amazonite. And each of those have different characteristics which are found to be beneficial for the body. Well, listen, I want to thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope that you will utilize this information I gave you on the plasma energy. <clears throat> Excuse me, and do give me a thumbs up. And share this video with family and friends. And thanks again. Visit our website at PlasmaEnergySolution.com. Thanks.